gave us hell. A shell and frantic shell hammered on top, but never quite burst through. Rain, guttering down in waterfalls of slime, kept slush waist high that, rising hour by hour, choked up the steps too thick with clay to climb. What murk of air remained stank, old, sour, with fumes of whiz bangs and the smell of men who lived their years and left their trails. There we heard it from the blast of whiz bangs, but one found our door at last, buffeting eyes and deaths, but the abandoned down the steep steps of the old country, and sploshing in the blood, deluging mud. Sentry's boat, and his right hand through the wash balls, mud and rock upon rock, we dredged him up for kill. Kill me, why? Oh, sir, my eyes, I'm blind! I'm blind! I'm blind! Folks in the hand work against his lids and said if he could see the least of their blood, he was not blind. In time, he got all right. Come I bore a few fools like squids, watch for my dreams. But I forgot him there in posting next to duty, and sending a scout to beg a stretcher somewhere, and floundering about to other posts under the shrieking air. Those other wretches, how they bled and spewed, and one would have drowned himself for good. I try not to remember these things now. Let dread hark back to one word only. How half listening to that sentry's moans and jumps and the wild chattering of his broken teeth, renewed most horribly whenever crumps pummeled the roof and slogged the air beneath. With a dense din, I say, we heard him shout, I see your light! But I had hours of long died out.